I just left my husband, it hurts. I just left my husband of three years, together nine. It hurts so dang much, I've been crying since it happened. We've been in marriage counseling for a few months now, and while things were changing at a glacial pace, the big things were still cropping up. Those big things amount to abuse, emotional and psychological abuse. That feels so horrible to say. Just here for support I guess. I can't tolerate being yelled at and guilt tripped anymore. I don't want to be sworn at and have my depression used against me, and I will not tolerate my daughter, our daughter, being yelled and sworn at. We deserve better. I just have to convince my broken heart of that. You deserve a partner cherished to see you not put you down. You were doing the right thing. I'm proud of you. I wish my mom had made the decision you did. He never hit me or mom but I've got lifelong shit to deal with anyway. Thank you for being strong. Good luck on your new journey. Someday when your daughter is grown you will be able to tell her that she helped motivate you to respect yourself and demand the respect you deserve from others. She will get that and she will be reinvigorated to respect herself and love herself more. That will make all of this worth it I promise. If it helps, this is the best thing for your, former, husband as well. If he's ever going to be a better person, he needs to learn this lesson the long and hard way. Perhaps thinking of it as, tough love, can give you some peace. My, F28, boyfriend, M29 posted and deleted me off Instagram. Last night my boyfriend posted a picture on Instagram and I was in the background. I commented on the picture and when I woke up this morning he had deleted the full post? That would have been the first thing regarding me he's posted on Instagram. I don't know what to make of it as everything else he posts remains there. I wouldn't be so bothered but he follows certain girls I'd rather wish he didn't and now look at this as him wanting to appear single. Edit I commented, appreciate the mugshot. To which he replied, the car compensates for it. As it was a pic of his car. I did also like the picture and the comments were left on the night he posted and then in the morning when I woke up it was gone. Why didn't you just ask him why he deleted the photo? Looks like you answered your question on the last paragraph. What was your comment you made? Fam you implied it looks like your mugshot could it be your boyfriend thought you didn't like the photo and deleted it? Stop leaping to conclusions and ask him why he deleted it lol. You should add in the fact you commented that it was a mugshot. If my boyfriend commented that under a pic I took where his face was in the background I'd delete it too. Don't want my partner feeling ugly because of something I posted. People are in the comments accusing him of all sorts when it's entirely plausible it was just because you didn't like the picture of you. If he wanted to appear single, he wouldn't have uploaded the pic at all. He wouldn't have commented back to you on it either. I just found out my boyfriend is a cringe lord and now I can't look at him. My, 23, boyfriend, 30, recently started a new job. This week he has been training with someone who I consider a friend. My friend came to me yesterday and told me that he has been saying very weird and cringe things about me, and that no matter what they are talking about he finds some way to bring the conversation back to me. She described him as, obsessed, and said it's starting to make her feel weird and uncomfortable. I am shocked because my boyfriend knows that I am not at all a fan of cringy, corny, clingy comments and when he says them at home I just give him a, really, stare. It is a huge turn off for me. He will occasionally say things like this at home but it wasn't anything to be concerned about. I don't know the exact words but these are some of the things he has said to my friend. 1. If her boobs were made out of pancake batter she could make like 60 pancakes with them too. Weird cringy stuff like going home and getting, snuggles. Three. Saying weird things when I appear on his phone like, there's that sexy fox, she's so pretty, I'm out of her league, etc. 4. He somehow loops every topic of conversation back to being about me. 5. Said he would go crazy if he didn't have sex he has had ex-co-workers before who have told me that he talks about me all the time but I didn't think anything of it until now. There were numerous other things he said but that's what I remember off the top of my head. This behavior is a major turn off for me and makes me uncomfortable. Right now I live with him and will be moving out as soon as I can but until then I don't know if I will be comfortable breaking up with him. I feel like I don't even know who he is really, and I don't even want to talk to or look at him. I don't know how to go about confronting him about this because I don't want to, rat, out my friend and make things weird for her at work. Please help I feel weird. Edit. I know I may seem like an unappreciative asshole and there is nothing wrong with talking about your partner but when it is so constantly non-stop that it is making my friend uncomfortable. That's strange. There is a limit, especially with sexual, intimate comments. 
The behavior is inappropriate, and it's not normal. Also, I lived here first. I let him move here. I am not financially reliable on him but sure assume because I'm a female lol. The fact is he's weirdly objectifying you to friends and strangers at work. It would bother me too. It's one thing to say the odd nice thing about your partner. It's something else to say the sorts of things he has been saying. I started reading thinking op as being a weirdo about having someone that really loves them but good fucking god the shit her boyfriend says at work is straight up sexual harassment. It's one thing mentioning partners to co-workers and have the odd cute comment about them. Had my partner compared my boobs to pancake batter and talked about needing to have sex with me I would have been pissed off and instantly single. You don't talk to your co-workers like that. You don't talk about your partner to your co-workers like that. It's not in any way shape or form cute. Best of luck finding a new place. Sorry you have to lose it since you were there first. How do couples with unmatched libidos survive? Is it just grace? Too long did not read. Me, 37 female, and boyfriend, 32m, have been together for 9 malios. BF has very low libido and considers sex a chore. I have trouble with this. Don't want to open up relationship. How to deal? He often will tease me and flirt sexually all day long. Works from home. And then in the evening when I'm ready to initiate sex, he doesn't actually want to. This creates friction and resentment with me. I don't cry or yell or anything but it makes me feel frustrated that he's teasing me all day and getting me excited and then rejects me. I am trying to understand this from his position, not to shame him or be angry, but it's difficult. Do I need to have more patience and grace or is this just an incompatibility issue and we should think about seeing other people? He often will tease me and flirt sexually all day long, works from home, and then in the evening when I'm ready to initiate sex, he doesn't actually want to. He knows he has a low libido, so why is he doing this? To answer your question in a general sense, when your libido is mismatched early on, say, 9 months, I'd consider it an incompatibility and move on. When you're matched well in the beginning but things change over time, there's more room for compromise. But no situation should involve a partner who is constantly building you up and then rejecting you.